Hi, I'm Ryan McAllister, head gardener here at Martha Stewart's farm. Today we're taking advantage of midsummer in the vegetable garden to switch our beds over from spring to summer crops. This bed here was previously spinach, which loves the cool weather. I've already removed it all from the bed and cleaned it out. Our next step is to go ahead and rake through the bed to make a nice, clean, even planting space for our beans. Once you have the bed raked smooth, you transition to a planting rake. These rakes will make evenly spaced rows. The width of this bed will allow me to do about three rows of beans. These red markers I've already spaced out to the spacing that each bean needs between plants. You place it in the row. Beans need about an inch of depth, so it'll make three equal furrows, and you do it all the way the length of the row. Martha asked that I planted beans today in her garden, so I have a selection of green beans right here. Hard-coated seeds benefit if you soak them overnight. Soaking beans overnight helps them germinate more quickly. It saves you a few days in the soil. So now you dump the water out, and as a bonus, you can add an inoculating powder. It'll help the beans germinate faster and the plants to grow larger and give you a better yield. You just sprinkle a small little spoonful inside and stir it up so each bean is coated evenly. So beans on average need to be planted about two inches apart. So I'm gonna go through and about every two inches, I'm gonna drop one seed. These rows aren't very long, so I'm just gonna go through with my hand and fill in each furrow. So after you finish filling in with your hand, take your rake and go through, both to ensure that the seed is covered and to make the bed look nice and neat. The last thing you need to do, put a label on what you've just planted and to make sure to keep the bed watered every day until the seeds sprout.